Hello, how are you? Today's Friday, it's a great day to be alive. Uh, I'm out of the office today. I'm actually heading out to a little trip with the family. Just, oh, it's a deer. Um, today, I wanna make a video on just the legality of auction access. You know, I get that question pops up every so often and every person probably who's thinking of getting an auction access does think of this. That's probably one of the first things you think about. So I like to make, and I've made a one or two videos about this already, but I'm trying to just say it in a different way, possibly, just so that, you know, sometimes we hear the same thing said in different ways, you get a more of a 360 perspective about it and a more complete perspective about it. And it shifts your beliefs. It, shift, it will shift your belief. Many people are hearing different most often and not negative information about auction access. So you're looking at it mostly from that perspective of fear that it's illegal or it's a scam and someone has had a bad experience. Or you've gone to your state website and the state gives you all of this information of things you have to do or not do, restrictions, et cetera, et cetera. So you're, you know, you, you hit it with all this information. Um, but first and foremost, auction access is not a new program. Every licensed dealer, every used car dealer in this country is part of auction access if they're getting into Mannheim, Odessa, and all of those auctions that are part of auction access. Auction access is a company. Um, it's a credentialing company. You can look them up, auctionaccess.com. It's a company that credentials and links together a network of dealer auctions around the country in Canada as well. Um, so the system is set up so that a dealer can utilize a, uh, his license to get into these auctions and buy locally or nationwide through the uh, uh, partner auctions like Mannheim, Odessa, etc. So these partner auctions all have agreed to utilize auction access and the nine digit number that auction access puts out as a key to get into all these auctions. So auction access requires a licensed dealer to have a master key, a master account. And then the auction access is, okay, now you are the dealer, you, you may not get to go to these auctions by yourself. You may want to give out a small key to some other people to buy cars for you. Right? So now a person, a dealer, can have agents or workers or contractors, employees, whatever you want to call them, go out with their own little key, their own sub key, their own nine digit number, and go out and buy cars for the dealership, to bring back to the dealership, to sell for the dealership. The dealer is the license that sits with auction access, it has the master key and now has agents with their own little nine digit key that ties back up to the dealership, who is the license, All right? So that's how auction access is. You don't have a dealer license. If you're not in a location with insurance and you've gone through a class, you have your own plates, your own surety bond. If you don't have all that stuff, you're not a dealer. You can be an agent under a dealer with auction access. Now, the first things that dealers will tell you, well, first, let's, let's go back. The first thing the state tells you is say, hey, you cannot buy and sell cars in the state over three, five a year, blah, 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 without a license. And that's correct. If you're following the business law under that state, that's not what's happening here. If you are an auction access agent under a licensed dealer, then you're buying and selling under that dealership's license, under that dealership's authority under that dealership's permission, all right? So a dealer in Florida can buy a car in California and sell it there locally. There's nothing that prevents that. So what if that dealer had an agent in California who's buying on behalf of the dealership that's in Florida? The agent is connected by the dealership as a worker through a contract. That's how auction access works, all right? The law will say a dealer can, can have employees or agents. Auction access says you can have employees or agents that go 
and buy cars for a licensed dealer. So that's what's happening here as if you're a dealer agent, right? And utilizing auction access as a service, you're buying and selling as an agent of a licensed dealer. And you're paying a small sign-up fee to mitigate some of that risk that the dealer takes upon. All right? There's a, there's a bit of risk. The dealer is dealing with agents, people who he doesn't really know. And so, you know, to mitigate some of that risk and to keep away some people who are not so serious about the business, there's a sign-up fee. And, of course, I put some in my pocket as well as the marketer and as the educator of how to utilize the service. All right? So, now, that's, that being said, that's how auction access works, right? You're an agent of a licensed dealer who can buy and sell around the country, right? A New York dealer can buy cars, can buy a collectible and sell it, right? Um, the states will tell you they want most, and there are states that, that specifically say if you buy and sell, it has to transact on your property, on the dealership. Georgia's one state specific, specifically that says that. So any agents I sign up, any dealer agents I sign up in Georgia have to transact business. If they want to deal with a Georgia dealer, they have to transact business at his location. But Florida is more, is more flexible. Florida allows you, as a dealer, to buy and sell throughout the country. You don't have to have all transactions occur at your dealership location. They're much more flexible with that. That's why most of my guys, my dealer agents, go through the Florida license. Because he's open to allowing these transactions. He takes the responsibility if anything goes wrong. Right? That's what you're paying for. Someone else is shouldering some of that responsibility, that responsibility. All right? So, hopefully that gave you some clarity on the auction access and the legality of it. Again, licensed dealers frown upon that. They want you to go through the same process that they went through to get their license. And so they frown upon anyone taking a shortcut. But it's okay. You know, this whole country is built on shortcuts and contracts. Have a great day.